Hello friends, welcome to Simple Indian American Home. Today I'll tell you the recipe of sweet banana walnut bread and sweet brownies. Please note that both of the items are absolutely sugar free, butter free and oil free. I will tell you what replacements I used instead of butter and sweet and at the same time they both are sweet and they are very yummy. Both of the items are very healthy. They are very good if you are on a diet and trying to lose weight and at the same time you want to cut back on oil, butter and as well as sweet, especially the refined sugar. Both the recipes are extremely good if you have kids at home and for the sugar treats. I tr gave this to my son, four year old son and he absolutely loved them, he devoured them. Let's not waste any time and get started. So to replace the oil and butter in both brownies and banana walnut bread, I have used avocados. For half a cup of butter, you can use two avocados. Half a cup of butter, the amount of softness which half a cup of butter gives, two avocados is a very good replacement. I have been preparing this particular um, snack for a very long time so I have you know over the time I have adjusted the ratios and tried and tested a lot of hits and misses so ideally half a cup of butter to replace half a cup of butter you can use two avocados and it will give you the same amount of softness. For sweetness, I'm uh, adding raisins, I'm dry roasting them, after which I'll add them to the mix. I'll add them directly to the blender. So for two avocados, one banana, uh, this is for the brownie mix, so I'm not adding banana in the brownie. So for avocados, I'm going to grind some raisins with it. So I'm taking one fistful of raisins. Generally I add a raisin syrup but my raisin syrup got over therefore I'm grinding these raisins. Raisin syrup is more convenient because it's difficult to remove raisins and avocados from the blender so I would suggest to use raisin syrup. If you guys want to know about my raisin syrup recipe subscribe to this channel. I will be uploading it soon. So here I'm toasting some walnuts and bananas i will grind them and add it to the brownie mix this is for my son that is how i give him dry fruits i'm toasting some almonds and cashews as well i add them to all his uh, sweet treat snacks which i prepare in the same way to keep his to keep including these dry fruits in his diet so now i'm getting started on my brownie this is my brownie pan four by four dish pyrex dish I directly prepare the batter in the Pyrex dish only. I don't do it separately in a bowl because it's just a lot of work for me. And it's only the family who's going to eat it. I'm not going to be giving it to anyone or most probably I won't be serving it to anyone. So I just grind it in this only. It's just my way of reducing one more vessel, one more step and to make the process much faster. Uh, I'm adding some cocoa. I'm using Hershey's dark cocoa. Ideally, you can add one tablespoon. I am just eyeballing it because I have prepared it a lot of times. I have a lot of experience. So ideally, in the starting, when I started preparing it, I used to add one tablespoon of it. Adding some cinnamon in it. You can say one teaspoon of cinnamon teaspoon not tablespoon one teaspoon of cinnamon again I'm eyeballing it because I made it a lot of time and I know exactly how much quantity I need nicely and now I'm adding the dry fruits that I was toasting I grinded them and I'm adding two big tablespoons of those in these brownies it is a good way to include dry fruits in the brownie because my son will be eating it now I'm adding the avocado and the raisins mixture my butter and my sweetener, my softener and my sweetener to be precise in the brownie mix. So I've eliminated the refined sugar and butter which is I think the most amount of calories with ca avocado and 
raisins which will give me sweetness and the softness as well now only thing remaining is to mix it nicely note that do not over mix the mixture otherwise the texture does not come very nice just mix it with the silicone spatula if you have just keep on rolling it and folding it till you see that the entire mixture is uniform again my husband was adding the other dry fruits initially he added the walnut and pecans now he added the cashews and almonds just mix it nicely make sure the mixture is uniform do not over mix it now my mixture is uniform it has mixed nicely shake it a little bit to make it uniform pat it on the countertop and now i'm spraying some crushed walnuts on it for more flavor keep this aside and clean the counter and now we will get started on our next recipe the banana walnut bread which is again sugar free butter free oil free for this i'm using a mixing bowl because i have to it's difficult for me to mix it directly in the loaf pan and also i need to cut it and then serve it uh, with brownie i'll show you how i cut it and with banana bread it's difficult because it has a height so i am mixing it in a mixing bowl and then i will transfer it to a loaf pan so i've beaten the eggs next ingredient i'll be adding is my favorite cinnamon again i'm eyeballing it you can take like one teaspoon of it mix it in the bowl now i again blended a fistful of raisins and this is grinded raisins which i'm adding to the mix you can add as much raisins as you want i have uh, do not have a sweet tooth we do not like sweet that much so i have taken only fistful but if you like sweeter i would advise that you add at least two fistfuls of raisins and grind them and adding them so you can see how difficult it is to mix a grinded raisin and i do not necessarily add water because i'm going to be storing it in fridge for around one week and having water in it will start the decomposition and i want to store it for a long time so ideally what i do is that i always add raisin syrup or a date syrup i also use date sometimes but i did not have date so i'm using only raisins if you add dates also oh my god it's it's very good if you have dates you should grind them also and add them so basically i prepare date syrup and raisin syrup and then i add add it it is very convenient and very easy so if you guys want to know how i prepare raisin syrup and date syrup for my recipes you can subscribe to this channel because recipe will be coming up soon time on the side i blended two avocados and one banana which i'm adding it to the mix right now you can just add them to the blender in the same mix where you grinded raisins and you can just try to scoop out the last remaining raisin that is why what i did i just blended avocado and banana in the same container in which i grinded my raisins so you can do it in the same and i've added to the mix and now i will be mixing it make sure that you do not over mix it just circle it and fold it and you are good to go so here i am adding two cups of oats flour and i'll also be adding one cup of wheat flour you, if you want you can do three cups of wheat flour or three cups of oat flour anything you want but i generally mix oat flour and wheat flour because i'm preparing also preparing for my son i just try to include everything in one recipe so that he can eat it i'm adding wheat flour now wheat flour banana and raisins it's a very very good combination if you have not tried it do try it it tastes very good here is a simple tip whenever you are preparing batter for a banana bread or a brownie or will circle it and fold it i would suggest do not over mix it otherwise the texture does not come out good i have done it hence i'm suggesting it 
the way that I am doing is the best way to prepare better for banana bread or brownie or any sort of bread that you are preparing. Circle it and fold it, circle it and fold it. Now my batter is almost ready. I prepared the brownie batter as well and kept it aside. I'll be putting both of them in the oven together and I'll be setting my oven at 350 degree and for one hour, 10 minutes. I'll be doing it for one hour and 10 minutes and let's see how it goes. So the oven beeped, the, both the items are ready. Let's see, the banana bread is nice and hard. That means it's cooked till inside. It did crack up a little bit at the top, but it's fine. Let's cut the brownies now. I always cut them in the pan itself. As I told you, I don't use a separate mixing bowl or anything or I do not take it out of the pan. I just cut them right there after letting it rest for good 10 to 15 minutes, waiting for it to cool down and I cut them. Same with the banana bread. Let it cool down first. Always, always let it cool down. Let it rest for good 10, 15 or 30 minutes. Just make sure that the bread is cool down it's not hot and then is that is the best time to cut and check how it came out let's see wow it came out very very good actually it was it's nice and soft and texture also came out really nice this is how the brownies came this is how i cut them and leave them in the pan my son just opens the refrigerator and takes one out whenever he wants it they really came out good you can see how it glistening on the top so if you guys like these recipes completely sugar free oil free butter free and good recipes both the recipes are very less in calories and they are very good very good for the sweet cravings so if you guys like this recipe and if you guys want recipes for my date syrup and raisin syrup which i use in my other recipes now is a good time to hit the subscribe button. That will be all for today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Do not forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want the recipe for date syrup and raisin syrup. And do stick around to watch my other videos.